Our project is called The Market in collaboration uh, with our student organization, Flower Sim. The Market is an interactive experience that combines both projection and virtual reality elements. We'll have a theater space where you can take in the sights of the projection piece with motion tracking, and also you can put on virtual reality headset to get a little more in-depth detail on what is really the market. You will be tasked with like a lot of mini games and simulations that you can play. You'll be starting off as a market chef, so a vendor. We decided to go with the burger because it was pretty easy. Most people know how to cook a burger, right? You take a patty, put it on the grill, put some cheese on it, get some lettuce, peel it off, put it on. That was designed to teach people the basics of VR. When it comes to the projection design, we really wanted to give a more fantastical feel to it. So we decided to stray away from the more realistic side of the VR experience where it just takes place in a normal market street, place the backdrop in a more fantasy scene where there's whales in the sky or a giant cat sleeping on the mountains. Flower STEM is a student organization dedicated to promoting creativity within the STEM field, so science, technology, engineering, and math. I started the club along with the other founding members during the height of COVID when we were all just sitting at home, it's like, okay, we're in these Zoom lectures for biology, engineering, and we're not doing anything. We were looking for ways for our members to impactfully learn the skills that they want to learn um, to see, succeed in their STEM careers or their arts careers, but by giving them a creative medium to do so. Anyone can use coding in their day-to-day -day job, but it might be really boring. So let's give them a VR platform because VR is one of the coolest technologies out there right now, and let's teach them that way, or let's teach them 3D modeling they can use in engineering, but let's use it through Blender, which is more artistic. My role shifted it around like from the beginning till now. Sort of me lead in the project management space where I answer emails or I give direction on where we should go in terms of storytelling. My role is the creative director. I lead our artists to what my vision of what the market should be. I'm also a little bit like a Joma where I'm kind of like being this program manager uh, making sure everyone has the resources that they need and anything they could want and what kind of software they need access to. And also I work on the technical side, so I had to learn Unity, learned a little bit of Blender. All of our members work really hard with creative direction on their own like little facet of the thing, but when you put everything together, it looks amazing. It's kind of like Legos. Every one block in itself is pretty cool, pretty interesting, but when you make it together, you can build something even bigger and grander. I'm just excited to see people first experience VR because we brought in some people who have never experienced VR and they got so excited over like the simplest things you could do. So if we give them even more possibilities, I think that'll like be a long lasting memory for them. I'm a mechanical engineering major, so I don't really like it that much. But <laughs> so I was like, I want to look for something else to do this summer that will get me like motivated to like interested in science and technology. And I've never built such a large piece before and I thought it would be a great challenge for me as an artist for like experience and like how the process and like workflow is actually like. In the future I'm excited to work more with VR. I'm hoping to start my research project Mixed Reality where I'm taking the physical component and bringing it into the, the virtual world. That really interests me. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use this for designing future projects on my own. If I were to like work on stuff with Uni in the future, I want to make as realistic as a simulation as I can. There are so many minute things that only can probably be explained by VR.